always good. Jesus, when he was teaching about the commandment, said, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. That was the commandment before Jesus came. But when Jesus was explaining what the commandment really means, Jesus said, but I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. That is the heart of God. God wants us to do good to our enemies and pray for them. Not to pay evil with evil. The wars that are, that are going on in the world is not, is not of God. God never asked anybody to fight one another. What God said, God said we should love one another. That is what we don't do. We don't love one another. That is our problem. That is why we have all this problem in the world. But God, God's heart is that we love one another. And because we refuse to love one another because of selfishness, because of money, and because of all these things that we have in this world, we want to acquire everything in this world. Because we want to acquire everything in this world, you want to walk on your brother, you want to, you know, hate him, and get everything that you want to get in this world. The Bible says, what will, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? But we know this. But what we do is that we want to gain the whole world. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things that we are craving for will be added unto us. But that is not what we do. What we do is to walk on one another. We don't care about each other. The Bible said a time will come when we will be lovers of pleasure, when we will be lovers of money. The love of many will grow cold. And this is the time that we are living in now. So war in this world, it is not, it is not of God. It is the wickedness of man. The wickedness of man. Because man wants to control uh, his brother. That is why there is war all over the world. It is not something that is, that is of God. And I go on. And, go, and Jesus said, For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the task letters do the same? And if you greet your brother, your brethren only, who, what do you do more than others? Do not even the task letters do the same? Therefore, you shall be perfect. Jesus said, you shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is perfect. Hallelujah. Jesus said we will have to be perfect just as our Father is perfect. That is the heart of God. The heart of God is that we love one another. The heart of God is that we be perfect. The, love, the, the heart of God is that we all live in unity and in love. Not, not at war with one another. So the, man, the, the, the young man that is saying that wars are created by God... It is not God that created wars. It is the weakness of mankind that created wars. Praise God. God bless you all. Our time is up. We will be here next week. And we, we believe that, you, you know, the Bible says that for God so loved the world, because God loves us, he loved us, he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him should not perish. God does not want you to perish. That is why he sent his son Jesus Christ. That when you believe in him, you will have eternal life. Everybody that is on, on this earth will die one day. But when you die and you don't have eternal life, it means that you cannot be raised again at the day of resurrection. That is why... God sent his son Jesus Christ that you may believe and have this internal life. This internal life is the reason why Jesus Christ came. That is the purpose of God. That everyone that believes in his son will receive internal life. So you have to believe in Christ Jesus. 
Now, you may ask, why do I have to believe in Christ Jesus? Because there are other religions. Now, Jesus did not come to set up religions. Jesus came that you may have faith in him and have this internal life. Because if you don't have this life, and the only one that has this life is Jesus. Jesus is the only one that can give you this life. Because the Bible says, in him was life. And the life is the light of all men. So he is the only one that can give you this life. So if you don't believe in him, it means you don't have this life. Hallelujah. You can only believe in Christ Jesus and have this internal life. That is why we all need to believe in him. Because he is our propitiation. Now, that means that Jesus was the sacrificial lamb for the whole of humankind. He is the one that has come to forgive us our sin and save us from sin that we may have eternal life. Jesus was the only one because God is, God is holy and every sin must be atoned. And because Jesus was the atonement sacrifice, hallelujah, for the whole of humankind, that is why you need to believe in him. Every human must believe in Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what religion that you are in. You have to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Hallelujah. So, my brothers, believe in Jesus Christ now. My brothers and sisters, believe in Jesus Christ now and be saved. Because a day will come. If you don't believe, you condemn yourself. But when you believe, you will save yourself from damnation. Hallelujah. God bless you all. If you want to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you believe in